performing measurements. Objectives Perform length measurements to the correct precision. Perform volume measurements to the correct precision. Perform mass measurements to the correct precision. And perform temperature measurements to the correct precision. How can we measure length to the correct precision? Here we have two rulers, ruler 1 and ruler 2. In example A, the screw is between 4 and 5 centimeters. We know definitely it's 4 centimeters and we can estimate 1 beyond that. Therefore, we can report our measurement for as 4.2 centimeters. This ruler can record measurements to the tenths place. In ruler 2, example B, the screw is between 4.1 and 4.2 centimeters. We know for a fact it's 4.1 centimeters and we can estimate one beyond that. For example, we can say it's 4.1 5 centimeters. This ruler can report answers to the hundreds place. In two other examples, example C, the screw is exactly at 4 centimeters. However, this ruler can measure to the tens place. Therefore, our answer must be reported to the tens place, 4.0 centimeters. In example D, the screw is exactly at 3.2 centimeters. However, this ruler can measure to the hundreds place. Therefore, the answer will be reported as 3.20 centimeters. How can we measure volume in a measuring cylinder to the correct precision? When measuring liquids, we must read the meniscus, that is the bottom curve of the liquid in a measuring cylinder. In this example, the volume of the liquid is between 83 milliliters and 84 milliliters. We know for a fact it's 83 milliliters and we can estimate one beyond that as 83.5 milliliters. In the second example, the meniscus is exactly at 80 milliliters. However, this measuring cylinder can measure to the tenths place. Therefore, our answer must be reported as 80.0 milliliters. The volume can be recorded to the tenths place when using this measuring cylinder. How can we measure volume using a burette to the correct precision? In a burette, a liquid is released. Therefore, we need to read from the top down. For example, here we see the graduation mark is 5 and as you go down, it goes down to 6. Therefore, we have to read from the top down. In this example, the volume of the liquid, the meniscus, is between 5.6 and 5.7 milliliters. We can estimate it one beyond 5.6 and an answer is 5.65 milliliters. A misconception would be to read the volume of the liquid as 6.35 milliliters. We must read from the top down, not the bottom up. This burette can measure volume to the hundreds place. After some liquid was released, the new volume reading from the top down, we notice the volume, the meniscus is exactly at 37.3 milliliters. However, this burette can measure to the hundreds place. Therefore, we must report our answer to the hundreds place, 37.30 milliliters. To determine the volume of liquid released, we will subtract the initial volume from the final volume. And the answer is 31.65 milliliters. Our answer is reported to the hundreds place because the volume in this burette is recorded to the hundreds place. How can we measure mass to the correct precision using a triple beam balance? Reading the three beams, the first beam has the mass at 500 grams, the second at 40 grams, and the final beam has it exactly at 5.2 grams. However, we can estimate one beyond 5.2. In this case, it is reported as 5.20 grams. Adding it all up together, the mass is 545.20 grams. The mass can be recorded to the hundreds place when using this balance. How can we measure mass to the correct precision using an electronic scale? An electronic scale provides you the level of precision. 
In this example, the mass is 100.25 grams. It can be recorded to the hundreds place when using this balance. And finally, how can we measure temperature to the correct precision using a thermometer? Looking at the graduations in the thermometer, we can see they go up by increments of 1. The, vo the temperature is between 4 and 5 degrees Celsius. We can estimate it 1 beyond 4 degrees Celsius. We can report it as 4.5 degrees Celsius. The temperature can be recorded to the tenths place when using this thermometer.